Hey guys, welcome back to our YouTube channel. With the holidays around the corner, I thought what better way than to add some bling and sparkle into this channel and show you guys our entire Cubic Zirconia Diamond collection that's to die for. I'm gonna show you guys exactly how to create all of our CZ tennis chains, including a round style, a square style, and a baguette style. Let's get right into how to create all these gorgeous CZ styles that you can use to create necklaces, belly chains, bracelets, anklets, or anything of your choice. The first style of CZ chain is this round cubic zirconia chain. I went ahead and included the item numbers for each size of chain that matches with the correct size cup chain clasp. And this is gonna be super handy when you're shopping on the website so you'll know exactly which size to get with which chain. First, we're gonna start off by cutting the chain. This cup chain clasp has two prongs that are sticking up. Take the last CZ and pop it right into that cup chain clasp. It should look something like this. Then, using a plier with teeth, you're gonna go ahead and put one tip of the plier on the bottom corner of the cup chain clasp, and then the top tip of the plier is gonna go onto the tip of the prong that's sticking up. The next thing you're gonna do is just press down to have that little prong bend over on top of the cubic zirconia stone. You're gonna go ahead and do the same thing to the opposite side. So it should look something like this. Press down on both sides of the prongs to ensure that they're fully pressed down onto the CZ stone and it should look something like this. You're gonna go ahead and repeat that same thing to the opposite side and if you'd like, you can also apply a tiny dab of glue inside of the cup chain clasp before setting this in just for extra sense of security. Once you have your two cup chain clasps on, you can go ahead and attach your jump ring and clasp to the end of the ring. I'm gonna be using a swivel clasp, and what I love about this clasp is the bottom part actually twists. Use your set of pliers to open up the jump ring. Attach your jump ring to the little ring at the bottom of your clasp, and then to one side of the cup chain clasp, and use your set of pliers to close it up. And it's super important when you're closing your jump ring up, you wanna hear a little click like that, pass the jump ring and come back to where they meet. This is super important because the tip of the cup sheen clasp is super thin. So if there's even the slightest amount of opening left on the jump ring, it will slide off. On the opposite side of the CZ chain, open up the jump ring. Attach the jump ring to the end of the cup chain clasp and use your set of pliers to close up the jump ring. Always important to hear that little click. Pass the jump ring and come back to where they meet. Here's what all the CZ chains look like on my wrist. Next up, we have the square CZ chains. So just as we did for the round CZs, we're gonna do the same exact method for this square CZ chain as well. Pop the last square into the cup chain clasp, press down so that the prong folds over on top of the CZ chain, and the same thing on the opposite side as well. So it should look like this. Go back and make sure that both sides are fully squeezed down. And then we're gonna go ahead and repeat the same thing to the opposite side. And it should look something like this. Next, grab your jump ring and open it up with your set of pliers. Attach the jump ring to the bottom of the loop of the clasp and then onto one side of the cup chain clasp and close it up. And same thing to the opposite side, but just attaching one jump ring so that the clasp can hook on. Notice how I'm using a larger size jump ring for this style, just so it's a little bit easier for the clasp to hook onto the other side. And when you're closing the jump ring up, it's super important to hear a slight click, pass the jump ring and come back to where they meet to ensure that the jump ring is fully closed. 
I'm obsessing over this stack right now. Here's what it looks like when I added the square CZ chains as well. This style of attachment is a little bit different than the round and the square clasp that I already showed you guys. This is called a slider clasp and what you're going to want to do is grab the last piece of the baguette and slide it directly into the slider clasp. Next, use the plier with teeth to press down to close it up. It still has a little bit of an open space but I like to go back in with a flat plier with no teeth to prevent it from scratching the metal. Press down. The most important and crucial part of this piece is to go back with your flat plier on top of the slider clasp and press down to ensure that it's fully secure and tight on the baguette because if it's not fully closed over here, it could potentially slip off. So we don't want that happening. That's the most crucial part of closing off this slider clasp. Repeat that same thing to the opposite side as well. Also wanted to mention, sometimes this opening over here might come a little bit too closed off to fit the baguette inside. All you need to do is put your plier inside like this and spread it out just enough for the baguette to fit inside. Insert the baguette into the slider class. Use a flat plier to slightly bend and create a diagonal section like this with the slider clasp and that's gonna help to close that shut even more and then most important part is to go back and tighten this part so that the baguette is fully secure into the slider clasp and it should look something like this next you're gonna need to use an owl tool to expand this section of the slider clasp because sometimes they don't come wide enough to fit the jump ring inside so you use this owl tool to insert it into that section and twist 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 it expands it wide enough to fit the jump ring inside and go ahead and repeat the same thing to the opposite side next grab your jump ring and open it up with your set of pliers slide it onto the slider clasp attach your clasp at the bottom of the ring Use your set of pliers to close up the jump ring. And on the opposite side, we're going to go ahead and use a larger jump ring. Open it up, attach it to the slider clasp, and close it up. And here's what the stack looks like with the addition of the baguette style CZs as well. Our newest addition to the Cubic Zirconia family that we carry now in store are gonna be the marquee style tennis chains. The amazing part about this style necklace is that it already comes pre-made with a clasp. So all you need to do is just buy it, wear it, or sell it. Here's a closer look at the marquee style tennis chains in the 16 inch and the 18 inch. And I also paired this look that I think would sell really well together as a set, which are these baguette style earrings that already come pre-made and these CZ studs that are available in larger size and smaller sizes as well. Here's a closer look at all the CZ bracelets. Nothing screams holidays more than these sparkle CZ pieces. I hope this video inspires you guys to create a collection for the holidays that I know everyone in your life will love. Comment below which style CZ chain is your favorite. Happy holidays, everyone. I hope you guys have an amazing holiday and a new year. We'll see you guys in our next video.